Hi, this is Godfrey, your trusted mentor, advisor, and educator. This is our candidate fast track system, the updated one. Um, so we have updated this on some of the processes. So I just want to share it with you to show you what are the steps that we follow when we help and guide candidate engineers, technologists, and technician in order to register with EXA. This is a one clear path, the nine simple steps to complete TERs, TEOs, and the engineering reports is in less than six weeks without frustration and feeling overwhelmed. So in this process, uh, we have nine steps. We have from step one to right up until to step, step number nine. And this process is divided in three phases. So we've got prepare phase, where you prepare, where you organize, and then execute. So the goal of this process is to show candidates how to move from the position of being a candidate and then becoming professionally registered with the Engineering Council of South Africa. So we have designed this process just to help the candidates to show them how to prepare what to do in order to get to your final goal, which is to become professionally registered. So in this process, first we begin with step number one. When you want to register with EXA, the first thing is position. Determine the position where you are. Okay, this talks about your qualification. You need to have your engineering qualification obtained in the University of South Africa. All right. Um, so in this step, we are looking at um, if you've got a BSc, you've got the BEng, you've got a BTEC or National Diploma. All right. And then we also determine if you have the minimum dress experience post your qualification. So those are the two important um, criteria we look at, all right? And then the transformation on these steps is to make sure we move you from being confused, from confusion stage, where we're creating clarity in terms of what are the requirements. Then we move to step two. Once we have determined your position in terms of qualification, we look at your training, which covers your work experience, okay? In these steps, we are looking at the experience that you have gained since your first qualification. What have you done in your three years? And then we've got an assessment tool that we use that we check and just to assess quickly what experience have uh, you have in order to register with EXA. So the transformation is to identify the gaps in your experience and then advise you to find the knowledge and the experience to close those gaps. Then we move to step three, which is the path. Now in this step, we are looking at the path, whether you can register as a professional engineer or technologist or technician or as a certificated engineer. Based on your experience and your qualification, we will advise you accordingly which path you can follow. So on this step, we make sure that you don't take the wrong path you always choose the correct path. Because some people, um, they've got a BTEC and they think that based uh, with their BTEC and their experience, they can register as professional engineers. That is not what the requirement of EXA. Uh, if you want to register as a professional engineer, you must have a BSc or BEng um, as your qualification because that is the requirement. So we help you to make sure that you choose the correct path here. And then once we understand the path, then we move to phase two, which is to organize. And then we go to step four. Here we help you to organize your report structure, the methodology that you're going to follow. And the trans tra transformation on this step is to make sure we clear the chaos in your mind and then we create order. So based on the structure, and then we will help you to put that structure together in terms of the methodology that you need to follow when you begin to draft or to write your reports for EXA application. Then we move to step four. Then in step four, then based on the structure and your experience, we can then help you to align your experience to meet the 11 outcomes as required by EXA. And the transformation is to show you there is an easy way of addressing the outcome 
and then we make sure that we clear you know in your in your mind and your conscious to move you from saying this is difficult but showing you the the easy way by using the process that we have designed we call it alignment process so we have designed this process that will help you to address the outcome one by one then we move to step number six and then in step number six that's when we do the work here we coach you we advise you we guide you on how to write the reports so in this step we're looking at the content of the report how should you address the content the details and the specifics you know your report needs to talk to your experience you need to demonstrate that you have the experience and then here we help you to make sure that the report really demonstrate that experience that you have your report must have a good content it must be detailed and it must address specific things and the transformation is to help you not just to write information on the report but actually show evidence of what you have done in that particular engineering um, activity and then here we cover your TERs we cover your TEOs and we cover your engineering report then we move to step seven once we have done the reports where we do report assessment we review and assess your reports we look for those uh, in the content we look at your details and your specification and we assess other things in your report that the report is written to meet excess requirements and the transformation is to make sure that we reduce anxiety and then you get the desired results that you want in your registration application process then we move to step number eight and then then you can submit your report to exa once we have assessed it um, to make sure that your report meets the requirements that are required by exa and the transformation is to you know reduce um, and help you to overcome a situation where you feel overwhelmed and then we make sure that you submit your report with confidence that is step number eight and then once you have submitted your report exa will do their own evaluation and assessments and then they will give you the feedback and um, to be invited for the interview and then step number nine we do interview preparation with you where we help you you know to and now formulate some questions based on on your uh, application form your reports that you've submitted and then we also share with you the presentation slides that we have created that you can modify and prepare for your presentation once you are invited for the interview and the whole transformation in this step is to make sure you don't self-sabotage okay you don't sabotage yourself you prepare in such a way that when you get to the interview you are able to sell yourself Okay, self-selling. The interview is all about it. Sell your, your, uh, yourself to the interviewers and show them that you actually have the experience. And then once the interview has been completed and then EXA will follow its due processes and then they will notify you whether you are registered as a professional engineer or professional technologist or professional technician or professional certificated engineer. So those are the nine steps that we follow. So on each step, on each phase, in this phase, we're making sure that you are committed in, in, in following these steps. And then we make sure that you are confident, making sure your report has got a good structure. The alignment process is done to address all the 11 outcomes for your engineering report. And then your reports and content is well-written, detailed, and specific. And then lastly, we make sure that you feel um, uh, uh, confident and then we create credibility so those are the three phases with the nine steps that we follow on this path the candidate fast track system simple nine steps easy and then we just show you but the very very important steps in this process is to make sure you meet step number one if you don't meet step number one you can't continue okay step number two is very very critical your experience you have to have the experience at the right level some people They've got a BTEC, but when you look at the experience, they don't have the right experience at the level of a technology. So this is a very important step. Number five is also a very important step. These steps, we call them the hot steps. You know, number two, number five, and then number six is also a hot step, and number nine is a hot step, okay? Make sure the experience is correct. You align your in, uh, uh, experience properly, and then you can able to go and 
present yourself uh, in the interview. And then from the base on the outcome of exam, then you are able to be registered um, at the right category. So this is the candidate fast track system in summary. And I hope this will help you. And we invite you to come and work with us. Then we can help you, guide you, coach you, educate you, take you through all these nine steps. At the end of the day, you are able to register. And then we will conclude this training.